A new email leak reveals international weapons inspectors intentionally doctored a report blaming the Syrian government for 2018's chemical attack. One America's Pearson Sharp has more. The mainstream media myth about Syria has another hole punched in it as a whistleblower reveals officials doctored up the report on the alleged chemical attack in 2018. A newly leaked email from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, an international watchdog responsible for investigating claims of chemical attacks, shows leaders at the agency deliberately falsified a report to make it appear as though the Syrian government was responsible for last year's alleged attack in Douma. A member of the OPCW apparently wrote a letter to his superiors in June of 2018 after he had investigated the site in Douma and says the reports he read completely misrepresented the facts. The inspector says the OPCW cherry-picked items from the full report, omitting key details which undermine the credibility of the organization. He goes on to say the management seriously modified his report, omitting any facts that didn't blame the Syrian government and says claiming that chlorine gas was used is disingenuous. The leaked email concludes by urging the OPCW to release the full version of the investigative report as the current version, quote, no longer reflects the work of the team. In an effort to find the truth, One America News actually went to Duma to investigate just days after the alleged attack in April of 2018. After visiting the very site where the attack supposedly happened and after interviewing dozens of residents from that neighborhood, as well as visiting the hospital where the videos from the White Helmets were filmed, we could find no evidence of any attack. While official sources still claim some 43 people died from chemical weapons, the doctors we spoke with said no one was treated for any chemical injuries and not a single person died that day. Further complicating the story, the OPCW also admitted much of the evidence used in their report was given to them by members of the terrorist groups. In February of this year, a reporter for the BBC also came out and confirmed, after speaking with members of the White Helmets, that without a doubt, the hospital scenes filmed in Douma were staged. And this isn't the first time the OPCW has been in hot water for misrepresenting reports either. In May, another leaked report revealed the UN-backed group was intentionally suppressing engineering reports that showed it was highly unlikely a chemical attack took place in Douma. But the agency chose to ignore those reports, instead hyping up any findings that appeared to suggest the Syrian government was behind the attack. Now, with this latest leak, it appears to confirm the agency's bias towards a story that numerous independent sources, including One America News, have already repeatedly debunked as being completely false. Pearson Sharp, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.